Vinny Favali Vinny and three super, fa- <laughs> super fans. I'm hopped up this morning, huh? I'm like shot out of a fucking cannon. Should be this awake every morning. Vinny's on podium. Who's that? Uh-oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm responsible for this uh, catastrophe. I'm 100% <laughs> responsible. Yeah, now, a, get uh, ready for a compliment Evan had later, nothing Scott. to do with this. First of all, Vinny Favalli used to work with us closely at CBS. He was good enough to come over. He had to rip himself away from the David Letterman show, where he is executive vice president late night, no, East no, Coast. Not executive vice president. What are you? Just re- regular vice president. And you look good. You've lo- How much weight have you lost in total since we worked with you? I, I would say between 50 and 60. Yeah, you look fantastic. Thank you. You're like, you're like half a person. Yeah, people say my head is too big, though. Your head, is, your head was always large. But what do you, how do you lose weight in your head? Like People you still find ways to criticize me. I've lost like 60 pounds, but your head's too big. I asked Vinny to host Superfan uh, Trivia because whenever Vinny hosts anything for us, people love to complain and say Vinny sucks and, hate, and they hate him. <laughs> oh, let him. me tell you something. I could tell you I'm going to suck <clears throat> right now. I'm so confused already. Uh, you have your questions. You Don't let the, don't let these guys no, look no, at uh, their questions. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I hope he's Doug, like you're not going to share them, right? The They're questions. retarded. Now, uh, Vinny will be the host because obviously I am one of the contestants. You're a contestant. Uh, Fred, Gary, and myself will team up against uh, three players. We have uh, some super fans here. Uh, our first super fan is Jimmy W. Jimmy, how are you? Good. How you doing? Uh, very good. And that you... looks like a lineup, Howard. I know. That looks like <laughs> double trouble. Triple trouble. Jimmy has listened to the Howard Stern Show every day since 1996. You haven't missed a show. No. Unbelievable. Yeah, if I missed one, I'd hear it on tape or something. All right. Uh, Jimmy. Howard Stern Superfan. Oh, <laughs> oh they you. had an intro. Howard Stern Superfan. Thank you. We're, we're not playing the game yet. I'm just talking oh, to the sorry. guys. <laughs> Once we go to the I'm game. Anxious. All right. Uh, Vinny's going to need all the help he can get, so you'll need music and sound effects. <laughs> You're not kidding. Are you really nervous about this? I'm not nervous. I'm nervous about actually all the information that I was just given before. Now, who wrote the questions I'm for at, Super Fan Trivia? Well, apparently I did. I wrote, so, I, you know, I just thought I was coming in to host, and then they're like, we need questions. Oh, do you mean, when did they get to you about this? Well, to host about like a week ago, and right. then questions like four days ago. Jesus Christ. But um, they're, they're actually very, very hard. I'd be surprised if you got any. I, right. I guarantee I won't get any of them. I don't you know made anything it super about this. Hard? But, but what, I guarantee what, Jim W. will kick my ass in any Howard Stern trivia. What's even harder is the format of the game, which we'll get into when we start playing. Right. Very complicated. Mm. Jim, are you unemployed? That 1996? I mean, you've been listening to every show. Do you tape them or something? Because you have to go to work. Yeah, yeah, I can listen to work. I see. I mean, uh, you, sometimes I'm a day late, you know, on my ass 50 because we don't get good reception where I work. But. Jim works in the auto industry. Jim's been dating his girlfriend for seven years. Jim had a vasectomy when he was 23 years old. Really? Yeah. Why would you do that did you you had kids young yeah i got i had three kids and uh was snipped by the time i was 23 and then, i uh and knew then, everything and then it says you got divorced a year later yeah and um and and now you have a, a new girlfriend what if she's gonna want kids you have to get it reversed I, they got in there once man i don't think they're getting back in i see it didn't when they shot me with the uh, whatever the pain killer is yeah mm-hmm. it kind of didn't go all the way to the other side so i felt it you oh. felt uh, it yeah yeah, so um, they're not getting that. Fucked me up for a long time, man. Right, you're back not in. Get letting them back at you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do I need any more kids? All right, you know? Jim, you, no, you don't. You, you don't. <laughs> yeah. Jim is uh, 33 years old and he lives in Wayne, Michigan. Okay, yeah. Joe, you're a super fan as well. Is that correct? Most certainly. Hi, Joe. Joe's listened to the show every day since 1988. Well, not listen to the show, but it was the uh, pay per views and TV special. You know, the the old Channel Nine show, and then. Uh, since we got it in our area, early 90s to now, I think I've missed one show. How do we find you guys? Is it uh, through what? Did you email us or has that Yeah, contest on the email. I see. Okay. Joe attended the New York premiere of Private Parts in 1997. Wasn't wow. that a great event? It was awesome. We were, uh, my friend and I, Pete, we were front row on the red carpet where the turn came where you guys came out of the car right into the building. We were right there, dab smack. It was awesome. You know, I don't remember a lot of the premiere except the fact that it was big. I mean, it was like a wild time in New York City, wasn't it? It. it certainly was the Pope Mobile yeah. that you came in. Yes. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> I was very full of myself, didn't I? I hopped out of the Pope Mobile, did some interviews, and quickly jumped on stage to perform two songs with Rob Zombie at right. MTV. Yeah. And it was uh, all can on you MTV. Imagine? <laughs> that must have been insane. What am I doing on a stage with Rob Zombie? But there I was. Killing it. That's Killing what you were doing. It. Nailing Killing it. it. <laughs> yes. Winning. <laughs> uh, Joe's been married five years. They're expecting their first child in October. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Joe's a huge comic book nerd. Most certainly. Me too. Did you miss Comic-Con? Uh, San Diego is, uh, 
it's too big. It's less about the comics and more about the TV and the movies and everything else like that. Uh, Baltimore is coming up where it's, you know, it's more pure, like uh, Stan purist. Lee. purist. Yes, well, Stan Lee. Comic-Con lost its way in a sense because, uh, because of its big quality that it's gone to Hollywood. The true fans don't really get enough comic book stuff. Is that what you're saying? I, I would have to say that San Diego's been that way for the last three or four years. Baltimore yeah. is the thing, right? Baltimore is a good one. Uh, you know, Mid-Ohio has a good one. There's a lot of, like, smaller ones that are coming up. And, and hey, Stan Lee is going to be at this Stan one. Stan Lee, the legendary yes. Stan Lee, the inventor of Marvel Comics, the man who really is responsible for Iron Man, Spider-Man. They're true, true. Certainly. Original Stan Lee. Yes. Yes, okay. Do you dress up? No. Thank God. <laughs> I'd throw you right out of here. I, I'd throw myself out. <laughs> right. <laughs> I might go with you to the Baltimore one. I'm going as Spider-Man. But if you did dress awesome. up, <laughs> yeah. what would you be? What? I said if you did dress up, what would he what be? What is your favorite comic book hero? Well, if I was to dress up, I'd go as Darth Nihilus. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> but. <laughs> Darth Nihilus. <laughs> no, I would go as uh, Captain Cold from the Flash uh, comic oh, books. Very nice. Peter, uh, you are our third <laughs> contestant. I'm getting away from Joe. <laughs> uh, Peter, I can't get away from him, Howard. <laughs> you've listened to the show every day since 1982. 82. Now, you know all you guys together are going to depend on one another to win this thing. If you beat us, you know that uh, thanks to our good friends at Bud Light, you're playing for that Port Paradise cruise, and you're pay, playing for 2500 bucks each. So they're playing as okay. a team. They're playing it. Well, yeah. They can't they help each other. Well, they're playing as a team, but when they're answering the questions, they but can't But their help. scores are combined. I At the see. end. That's but right. they can't help each other. That's right. Okay. All right. So, you know, you got your work cut out for you, but that's a hell of a nice price. 2500 bucks a piece. I thought, was, I thought it was 2500 bucks for the and three. And you had to fight over it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you're talking about a very sizable prize here. Yep. And the cruise. What would you do with the money, Peter, if you went? Uh, my wife's 40th birthday is coming up. So I'll get her something nice with right. the uh, with the winnings. Get her one of those uh, Birkin bags or some shit? Well, I don't know about that, All Howard. Right. That's, uh, that's, that's a little too crazy. A lot of steep money there. <laughs> Pete's listened to the show since 1982. Pete's favorite person on the show is, guess who, Robin? Who? Fred. Fred. Of course. Why Fred? I don't feel he does that much. <laughs> I don't know. I just... I. I <laughs> When when Fred's ready to, I talk to the hit, whole time. I know, yeah. but when Fred's ready with the sound effects, it, it just I I think it and and you know it's there. He, I don't he see how it. I can't be your favorite person on the well, show. Come on, I mean, I mean you really, know what? I really well, everybody like, says everybody says you. Oh, see. He's like when you know we were growing up and there were Beatle cards right. and everybody was collecting Paul and John. And then you meet some assholes into Ringo. Yeah, that's what he is. That's George. I can't be Ringo. <laughs> yeah, Fred's Jack not Ringo. Is Ringo. No, Fred is the back. You would describe Fred, I suppose, as the backbone of the show. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I yep. would too. Uh, my back is killing me. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Uh, you got your wife's birthday. You've been married 13 years. You got an 88 year old daughter. Yes, I do. And you're uh, 40 years old and you live in Chesterfield, New Jersey. That's okay, right, Pete, yep. that's good. All right, listen to me. I wish you boys luck. I am now going to take positions with Fred Superman. and Gary. You will oh, compete against sir. us in the ultimate super fan trap fan movie. Super fan. Oh, Super I don't hear I don't hear you. I don't hear myself. There you are. Oh, there I okay. There we go. Super fan. I don't hear Robin. Boys, another fine setup. <laughs> oh, there she is. Okay. Uh, we can tell that Scott might be responsible for this yeah, sound. All right. <laughs> How much are you responsible? Oh, he says now he's only 10% responsible. <laughs> no, I was holding the door. <laughs> All right. Remember, the boys over there are playing for $2,500 a piece if they beat. Myself, Gary, and Fred. I'm going to turn it over to Vinny Favalli, who all fans hate, and we'll be discussing <laughs> hey, with that. his performance today. Go ahead, Vinny. Okay, you guys ready to play? Yeah. Ready, let's go. Okay, now, actually, yeah. I have one yeah. technical question. How do I tell who buzzed in first? There's no buzzer. No, I know, no but everybody You don't need was... a buzzer. We're going one at a time. Holy no, 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 no. Here's how it works. This way. No, 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 Seriously. No, no, no. Vinny, Gary, tell them how it works. Okay. We'll, what kind of show is this? We went over it. We could flip a coin, but in this case. How many times did you no, go over it? We're not going to tell you what I know. Sh- Vinny, I blame stop. you, Gary. Right, stop. There's chaos Fuck already. The, Vinny, I, Vinny, stop. Throw yep. Vinny out of here. The fans will go first. Jim W. is up for the first question. Yes. Okay. All right. John shaking his head. Yes, John and I talking about this. That's the way it works. Okay. No, no, I was told. Already. I was told the first question is for the fans, but in teams. So, huh? for instance, the first no. pair is how. I just told you what it is. Stop. Okay, the first question is for the fans. It's five points. Okay? No, it's for Jim W. Jim specific. W. Yes, I know. 
they're playing. You're the shittiest okay, fucking host. <laughs> <laughs> you really are, man. Okay. You suck. Jim, this one's for you. Right. Before he became Baba Booey, what was Gary's nickname on the show? Boy Gary. Correct. All right. For correct. five points. Wow. Okay, this one goes to you guys. This is uh, John for Howard, right? Oh, my yes. God, okay. Bernie. You're the worst host. <laughs> Howard, you don't even know the game. What title did you originally want to use for your first book, Private Parts? Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to say Mein Kampf. Very good. Thank Correct. You. Now you have five points. Okay, That's right, Robin. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Joe, you ready? Yes. What By the way, Vinny, don't ask everyone if they're ready. They're fucking ready. They've been ready <laughs> they, for hours. They came We've to do this. We've established that they're ready. They're two in the morning. They're, they're ready. What cable network did Son of a Beach air on? FX. Correct. Correct. Very good. <laughs> okay, this next question. For... These are five pointers. That's why they're so easy. Okay, for the Stern team. Now, this is an audio question, so please wait till the audio plays. This is for me. For right? Gary. Okay. Right. No. You ready, Gary? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Who is the foul mouth baseball owner that Billy West is screeching? Oh, it was just my imagination there. I'm seeing black ghosts. Oh, God. So all I want to say is good luck, Howard. Let me rub some dead dog hair on you. <laughs> that is Mort shot. Very good. Correct, correct. The legendary Billy West. Back to the fans. Who was the DJ who preceded Howard's morning show for many years and was nicknamed the Nightbird? And that goes for Peter. Peter. The Nightbird. Uh, Allison Steele. Correct. Wow. That's right. Everybody's spot on. What you almost we... choked there. I almost. That was an easy one. I know. Okay, back to the Stern the Show. The night bird. And fly. fly. Yes, Come fly with me. <laughs> fly, fly away. Fly all of New York and the tri-state area. Fly with the night bird, Allison Steele. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Man. Okay, Fred, this one was for you. Who was banned from the show after punching, stuttering John? That would be uh, A.J. Benza. Correct. Correct, Freddie. All right. They, they've been 100% so far, so the score is tied. 15-15. Back to the fans. We start back at the top. Jim, you ready? Yes. F Stop saying you're ready. It's a nervous tip. Just say, Jim, here's your question. Okay. All right, you Vinny. don't even have to say that. Just Are say, Jim, Vinny? and read the question. Still five-point questions we're on here, We're Vinny? still on okay. five points, okay? <laughs> just tell them what. Don't look does. over my shoulder, Howard. <laughs> right. Jim, F. Timmy refers to what type of animal that Jackie owned? A cat. Very good. Wow. Very good. Okay, mm. Howard, back yes. to you. Yes. Um, who, what was Robin's score on Dr. Drew's narcissism test? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, 34. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Oh, oh, hey <laughs> Joe, for five points, what was the name of Riley Martin's original co-host? Ooh, that's a good that's one. That's a toughie. Ooh. If he knows this, he's good. I know Eron's the current one. That's correct. I'm going to go with Eron. I know... Ugh. Is that your answer? Yes. You're wrong, sorry. Curtis Cooperman. Oh, wait, I, didn't, wait I was supposed to get that one. <laughs> no, she was supposed to come back to me. I had the answer. Oh, oh when he gets the right. turn, it comes oh. to me. You're oh. right. You're right. Oh, uh, well, that's good. Oh, they God. lost. Well, they I would have had it. They lost, it. and I would have got, got it. Yeah, why didn't you say, I Gary, you get the, you, you get your turn. You I just got the suck, rules Vinny. two minutes before I got in here. <laughs> the fans are correct. This is the last time you're hosting. There was no free no it. Why did you say, all right, Joe, you got that wrong. Let's go to Gary I if he can steal. I forgot. Curtis Cooperman. You will get the next one in place of Gary. Okay, Gary, this is an audio question, so please wait. He keeps getting audio questions. What was Sal apologizing for when he said these infamous words? Hi. This is Sal Governale. Oh, just that's it? That's it. Any more? What was he apologizing no. for? He was apologizing for saying that uh, white women shouldn't date black men. Correct. Wow, I wouldn't have gotten that. Wow. Oh, come Would on. Would you have gotten that, Fred? Not Honestly, from that. Not from, neither. not from that length of back, clip. Back to the fans. I wouldn't have gotten Okay, this one is for uh, Peter. What are the official station call letters of DC 101? WWDC. Very good. Correct. Yeah, I could have stolen. Amazing. That's right. I knew Fred. That. Yes, sir. What Van Halen song is on the Private Parts soundtrack? Oh, man. Uh, Running with the Devil. Wrong. Ah, oh, shit. Fred is okay, the weak How oh, dare you? I couldn't get that either. Peter, Fred. Peter, this oh. is uh, Peter, Jamie's Peter. shot. Go, shh. Shh. You already got me. Oh, um, Jim. 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 Jim, this is your Suck, shot. Vinny. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Is it you really got me? No, nope, wrong. Can I get another Wait, chance? I, no. I go now. I, think I, I go, right? Yes, yeah, so let's let Howard do it. Are right. we going back? Repeat, yes, the, yes. repeat the fucking question. Okay. <laughs> what Van Halen song is on the Private Parts soundtrack? You put together this soundtrack. You really got me. 
No. Mm. Oh, did Fred say that? I, no, no, no. Somebody said it. Jim said it. Oh, Jim said yeah. <laughs> I, I think I know what it is. It was in the movie. Well, let's yeah, go yeah, back yeah. to the fans, and then we'll go back go to the... Back okay. to Joe. Okay, Joe, Joe uh, You know what? I don't really... I just said the same thing as Jim. I suck. <laughs> I have no idea. Right, I suck as a host. You suck as a host. Keep going. Keep going. Keep okay, going. Gary. Next time. All right. Go ahead, Gary. Oh, no. He's not a Gary. I just want... Yes, it is. It's this guy, right? back and forth. Okay, go ahead. It's still the same question. I got it. Jamie's crying? Correct. That's it. You were eventually correct. Well, now you know. I knew that. I can't believe I guessed the same thing the previous time. John, help me. Who goes you next year? You see how that happens? I thought maybe it would work this time. Joe. Uh, go ahead. Joe? Yeah, Peter. No, Peter. Okay, Peter. <laughs> Vinny, keep, all you got to do is keep track of whose turn it is. Uh, okay, Joe. Fuck. It goes to Joe. Sorry. No, what is Joe just went. No, according to... It's Peter. 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 Okay. Hey, Vinny, I hope your play fails. Oh, well, it is already <laughs> failing. So Here, if the musical broke up. What is the first name of Benji's uncle that he wishes to remain unspoken? Detlef. Correct. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Back uh, here. What is the score, by the way? We now have some discrepancy. The score, in the score. is it's a tie. Thirty for the fans, thirty for the staff. All right, go oh, ahead. But I think it was okay. his grandfather. Okay, uh, that actually okay, this is the is last, the end of the the last question of the first uh, round. You ready? Uh, goes to Fred. <laughs> what was the name of the summer camp that Howard attended? Well met. Correct. Camp well met. We'll take right. that. Should we take a break now? Yes, All much right. needed break. And then we yes, can sit. because there's Absolutely. a lot of tension in the room. Well, no, there's not a lot of tension. It's a tension between me and Vinny because I'm going to explain the game to him. <laughs> All right, we'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Listen to me, Vinny. We went over this 97. You guys did. I didn't. Yeah, why didn't they go over it with you? Yeah. Well, they, you know. You were, and you started doing shit for hours. No, I wasn't. Into the rules. <laughs> well, well, if that was the first time I was hearing it, I still no, would No, he confused. should have been briefed before the show. Yeah, no, no. John, on, John, John did that, but it was, oh, it's a very confusing format. I, but I, I got it. I can't get the pairs. I can't Next time, the you know what you do? You put six people up and let them practice. Yeah, to see that would have been great. Or well, we let John do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look right, at Will so, throwing me under the bus. So, okay. second round, just one, one, back and forth. Back and forth. Okay, just keep it moving. If okay. they get it wrong, they get a chance Got to steal. Got it. Next time you host it. And then let it fly. <laughs> and then, final, final, <laughs> final <laughs> round, final round. Okay, right, Whoever, right. whoever's losing at that right. point, yeah. you go to that team and you go, okay, yeah. here's your 25 Got point, or whatever the point value you got is. Bud Light like, coming up for a Right. Hey, Vinny, And then, Howard will tell you how long. Just, no, no, one suggestion, just try to mention the points more. Got it. You know, so people know what's... We're starting off with the time. It's like doing radio on right. a baseball on radio. Got it, got it. I do that all the time. We go back to our confused host, who, uh, by the way, did not end his confusion during the commercials. I barely paid really? attention to him. <laughs> he talked about his incredible white weight loss as opposed to the contest. And now let's go back to Benny Favalli. Okay, now the fans, just if you keep a track at home, the fans are down by five points. So, guys, you got to pull it together here. You ready? Fuck Here you, we fans. Go. We're yeah. winning. Hey, you guys don't want them not to win the $2,500. Hey, oh, we're very competitive. We're playing to win. <laughs> Okay, Jim, here we go. Point value on these questions? Point value is now up to 10 points. Yeah. Okay, you guys got a shot here. Nice. You guys you... lose, you have to lick our assholes. <laughs> Who? Oh. Ooh. But we're not gay. Oh. <laughs> Who are the original members of the losers? I need the names of all the losers. <laughs> this one's for Jim. Okay, Scott Salem, Howard Stern, uh, Fred Norris, Jackie Martling, John Melendez. Correct. That's very good. Right. good. Good answer. Okay. Oh, I could have done that. I forgot about oh, Jackie completely. Oh, no, I and John Melendez. John, John yeah. is barely a part of it. He okay. was part of it, be honest. Okay, Fred, go ahead. You just ahead of like... you now. This is an audio question. Wait uh, for uh, the uh, answer. Uh, 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 uncle. What was Jackie Martling apologizing for when he said this? Wait for the audio. That was stupid, and I'll never do anything like that again, and I love you, and I'm very sorry. I'm very sincere. And don't... <laughs> I know this. Of course. Do you want the long answer or the short the short, answer, the short answer. The shortest answortic. answer possible. He was apologizing. Uh, he said the Jessica Hahn incident is when he was in the you bathtub play? in Philly. I can't believe well, that was part of the You played the answer. That, that was that. They cut the tape. I Who just cut the, the tape? What a fucking morons. <laughs> you can't Thank that goodness Fred was talking what over that John? part. We, we, no, we cut the tape. That was, me, that was my fault. I'll take responsibility. Well, he had the answer anyway, so. Okay, or, or you, if you want, In all fairness, and, and, and and basically, he took his underwear and threw it in the backyard, and I guess you discovered all That's the That's too mayhem. much information. Forget right, it. There go you ahead. go. Okay. Let's prove what I know. This one is going to Joe. Okay, Joe? Uh, what sportcaster uttered the words, lest anyone think, during the OJ prank? 
Uh, that was Al Michaels. Correct. Hey! Very nice. Right. Very good. Very good. I'm the worst. Hands are up. I don't even know if I could have remembered his name. <laughs> hands are up. 50 to 45. Okay. I'm actually nervous. Go ahead. Howard, it's your turn. Right. Gary, this one's... Uh, no, it's for Howard. It's for me, uh, for Vinny. Howard, Vinny, stop showing the answers to Jim what? W. What? It's the way they set yeah. me up. They put me right on top of you guys. Yeah, I know. It's stupid. Um, Howard, what line of yours inspired Kid Rock to use it in one of his songs? It was a line that you said many years ago. Balls in your mouth. Correct. Yes. hey very good. Howard Stern, super fan. Okay. Howard Stern, super fan. Guys, this is for 10 points. These guys are ahead of you. Okay. All right. Who's up next here? Uh, Pete, uh, Peter. Okay, Pete. Uh, what writer from the Channel 9 show became a reality show mega producer? He was on the Channel 9 show. Mark Cronin. Correct. Correct. Wow. Sold his Endemol. company for millions of dollars to Endemol. And the fans pull ahead. No one thought he'd be successful. <laughs> and it's Gary's turn. Okay, thank you, Robin. I appreciate that. Both. <laughs> I'll get it up. Don't Gary, worry. Gary, it's on you. At Howard's 1997 birthday show, who was called in while laying in a coffin? Who called in while laying in a coffin? Wait a second. At Howard's what? birthday Reed, show. Reed at Howard's again. 1997 what? birthday show, who called in while laying in a coffin? I did not write this one. Oh. Who called in? Who called into the birthday show in 1997? While produced, lying in a coffin. While laying in a coffin. I'm going to take a wild answers. guess and say John DeBella. Wrong. No, Gary. Bulls. Okay, hold on, Robert, Robert. Shut up. You know one thing and now you're a fucking <laughs> I think expert. I'm gonna... I've known all of these okay, answers. Yeah. Joe, here's your shot to really pull ahead. Pull ahead, baby. Morton Downey Jr. Correct. Wow. Oh. Oh, he said he was laying in a car. The, the fans are at 70 points. What kind of questions? They're right? on fire. Wow, those guys are good. Yeah, it's okay. good. How come you didn't know that? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and I booked them. You booked them. <laughs> I probably told them to get the coffin. <laughs> and, I, I don't remember. And, and he literally was laying in a coffin? That's what they say. All right. <laughs> you are the producer, right? What, Joe? Joe he, uh, many times on the air, you had said that he was going to die of cancer. And I guess it was lined up. He immediately showed up. I remember it on the E show very vividly. It opens up. He's smoking a cigarette. And he goes, I'm not dead yet, Howard. Yeah. Wow. And then it began from there. Who's Good. laughing now? <laughs> you won hey, that. Show them the answers. Okay, they He's the worst host. Go Look ahead. where they put me. Uh, Fred, yes, what artist name did Sal use when he recorded this instant classic? Wait for the audio. Shake, 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 We have to hear all of it. Oh, I was going to say, go. can't we cut this? Go ahead, Fred. G-Man? Correct. Wow. I wouldn't know. Oh, I, I was going what? with Candy Rapper. What is the score? <laughs> What's the score, score now Billy? is the fans are at 70, the staff's at 65. Uh-oh, you guys are okay. lagging. Well, okay, guys, 10 points. we got a few more questions left here. Okay, this one is going for, I believe, Joe, right? Who goes next? You're asking. No, you're the host. Joe. The, Jim. 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 All right, go ahead, Jim. Jim, which longtime <laughs> guest? Yeah, this is your last appearance here. Yeah, which longtime guest's private parts were referred to as being like a snapping gyro? Oh, I got Ooh, I got oh this is good. I got this one. Shh. Whoa. It's on Jim. I'm snapping s- gyro. Uh, uh, Siobhan? Nope. Oh, go get him, Howard. Okay. Here I go. Oh, no. The guest that was referred to as having snapping gyro what? was. Jessica, Jessica Holmes! Yeah. That's correct. Right. 75 Hello. points. That means you guys Winning. have moved ahead. I brought us to a lead despite Gary's lack of knowledge about the show. <laughs> okay, we've got three more 10 point questions before we get to the super questions. Okay? Who knew Gary would be the weak link? <laughs> Jim, you're next. What was the original name of Howard's band? No, Electric? Is it me? Joe's I got the last one. Oh, Joe. Oh, Vinny, you're what so was bad as a host. Robin, could you just tell me who goes next on the next one so I don't make a pull You can't even remember who goes next? What Are you was... straightening your hair? No, the headphones keep on putting it on oh, my eyes. okay. He's trying to look hot. Well, this is HD now. All right, go ahead. <laughs> the last time I was here was FM. When's the last time Letterman put you on the show and let you plug that fucking play of yours? Zero times, right? You're the vice president. Zero point zero. Has he ever let you plug your play? No, there's not yeah, enough time. Exactly. <laughs> He's <laughs> yeah. have a six-hour show. Right. Clog my show up with those plugs. <laughs> right, what on. was the original name of Howard's band Electric Comic Book? Come on, Joe. No idea. Wow. wow. Gary, you have a shot here. I believe, was that the Plumbers Union? Correct. Wow. Very nice. Uh, you guys have a commanding guys, you're down lead by now. 15 points. Yeah. Okay. The Stern guys have 85. These are 10-point questions. You get two of these right, you're ahead again. All okay? Right. Joe, what happened there? I should know. Uh, most of my family's in the plumber's union. Right. 
Coach Union. All right, Peter, it's up to you. Okay, Peter, pressure's on. All right. Which For 10 points, which fitness guru named Howard's daughter Ashley? Richard Simmons. Correct. That's correct. Good. That is correct. That brings you up to 80 points, fans, and we're okay. uh, at 85. Fred? Yes, sir. This is the last of the 10-point questions. All right. Throw right? the question. Let's Fred see. picked up the nickname Earth Dog from what predecessor at DC 101? Brent. Correct. Wow. That was an easy well, one. Of course, that was all <laughs> about, answer, him. about himself. I wouldn't have known that. That was the last one left. Okay, here we go. They gave you a Fred question. Where's it? It makes no sense. <laughs> Vinny, why in your mind wouldn't you like kind of switch that? Well, hold on. John Hine wants to say one. something. It was go the ahead, last John. one. Vin. Yeah. I said, if you have a Fred question, don't ask Fred. Oh, <laughs> All right, I'm discounting that yeah, question. Take, take that off. Take okay. it back give and give him a different question. one. Right, that's not okay. fair to the fans. All right, Vinny, Vinny, recap the scores, and let's okay. go to the final round, which is 25-point yeah. question. There we go. Question. The staff has 85 points. All right? The fans have 80. They're up by 15 points. And the host is no. so bad, we had a dis- 15. It's five <laughs> points. <laughs> Vinny, what's going on in with my, you? I'm not used to be up this early. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet. But in my defense, that was the last 10-point question. I had no other question to choose from. I so All take right. one. I'm going to take one. Take, from the, take Give you know what? One. That's fine. Just we're give, good. Forget it. Just let's go to the 25 point question. There we go, Fred. Yes, sir. Right. On 9 11. Is this 25? But wait, no, for, no, Fred just answered. Him 25 point. Point. No, we were disqualified. Yeah. I disqualified the question. Okay. Let's go to the 25 point for question. These guys. Okay. Uh, no. Here we go. It's 85 for us. Yes. The fans have 80. All right. We're now moving to the 25 point bonus situation. <laughs> Remember, Where guys. Anyone could win. You guys can commiserate during this. You right. can have a dialogue between yourselves. You're allowed to help each other right. out. Now, you are getting the first question. Vinny, back to you. Okay. You ready, guys? On 9 yep. 11, Scott the engineer drove Robin Quivers to New Jersey. Who is the other passenger in the car? Uh, guys, take right. your time answering this. This is for 25 points. They are uh, taking their headphone off and uh, don't say anything, boys. Mm-mm. Uh, it seems that Robin and Scott were in the car at 9-11. There was somebody else in the car. There was somebody else in the car. That's a good question. Hmm, I always thought it was Robin and Scott alone. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, how long are you going to let those guys commiserate? Okay, guys. Vinny's watching you. He doesn't care about the yeah, game. Vinny, okay, guys, Vinny is it. like watching me. He's hypnotized by You know what it me. is? I'm basically listening to the show. Right. Only up here. Yeah, well, Vinny, that's you're the host. No, no, I know. Just to keep things moving. All right, boys. Uh, okay, uh, guys. No. Um, on 9-11, Scott's engineer drove Robin Quivers to Jersey. Who is the other passenger in the, in the car? You get this right, you win. I, I don't know his real name, but what does it... Was it Wood Yee? Correct. That wow. Correct answer. You guys, answer. Don't they win? They win. They right. won. They won. Oh, we just won. Oh. Our national nightmare is over. <laughs> <laughs> if we had gotten a chance at a 25-point question, what, what would, would our question have been? Who was the first Howard Stern 100 News reporter to give to give a news update on Howard's oh. show at Sirius? Hold on, let us commiserate. Oh. The first one ever? Let us commiserate. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was, was Ralph the first guy uh, here ever? No. Ralph was not. No, the first he was not. Robin, one you're not allowed to commiserate, right? right? So, 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 uh, there's, so there's Ralph. There's a. Uh, oh, I, I think I know who it is. Who is it? I think it was probably uh, that George Flowers guy. Uh, what do you think? Let, let me rephrase the question Wait, in case. Sh- what? What? So I want to make sure you, you guys understand the question. What was the first Howard 100 news reporter? to give a news update on Howard's show at Sirius. Oh, on Howard's, Howard's show. show. Howard's I don't show. understand the question. So Who came in when we started? Let me commiserate like this. Oh, 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 either one or two. Yeah, when we started doing the show the live. What is the answer, Gary? It's either George. Was, did George used to come in and do it? No, he never came in. Okay, so it's either it's, it's Langford or oh, Lisa. No, no. Penny. It was either, I, I, I'm almost thinking it was Penny. Right. Wow. Let's, let's go with Penny. You guys I can't, are going to lose. I'm bored to death. <laughs> you would have lost anyway. Uh, uh, You're we wrong. say Penny Crone. Nope. Hey. George Flowers. Mm. Oh. Oh. I never thought George I've, came in here. I've got one more great question for you. Okay. All right, go ahead. We'll commiserate. What was the name of your running mate when you ran for governor oh, of New York? Oh, easy. Uh, we're, 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 oh, you know it, Howard? What? I don't. Let me think. Let me think if I can remember. Because we thought for sure that you know this one. Know was it Noel name. Biederman? No. no. Okay. Let me think. think. Let me think. Let me think. Was Noel Biederman ever involved in my campaign? <laughs> no. All right. I think I remember the guy's name. Let me think for a second. I'm commiserating with myself right now. <laughs> All right. I ran for governor. I remember that. And you t- had a running mate. I remember taking acid in 1973, oh, and I don't you remember went too much far else. Back. Uh, whoop! I went too far back in the catalog. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. I ran with a guy named Dworkin. Stan Dworkin. Yes. 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 Hey-o. I didn't mean nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs>
You want one more? What means nothing? One more. Okay. Don't worry, guys. You won the money. Give me one more. Who was the celebrity judge of the Miss Butterface contest in Las Vegas? Oh, I. Let me think. I got it. Oh, I know who. Wait, let me have some rating. Miss Butterface was the one on. Weren't there two? Joe Rogan. Wasn't there one? Did we do one on stage? Stan Dworkin. <laughs> See, I, I, th- I thought we did that contest. What is the question again? Who was Who's the celebrity, celebrity judge, judge? for the, the Miss celebrity? Butterface contest? Joe Rogan. No. No. Jimmy Kimmel. No. 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 I want to say uh, Joe Rogan. What's the guy? The, S- the SNL guy. Jimmy Kimmel. No. Rob Schneider. Deuce Bigelow. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Uh, Rob Schneider. I'm going to say Rob Schneider. Correct. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Howard, you're the best. All right, boys. Uh, listen. What else did they get? Guys, first of all, you each won twenty five hundred dollars. Jim, what are you going to do with the money? I don't know. Maybe I'll buy an engagement ring. Oh. Maybe I'll get the vasectomy reversed. Is <laughs> she going to want to marry you if you can't have kids? Yeah, I think so. All right. I think so. Uh, Joe, what are you going to do with the 25 hundy? I was going to invest in uh, Vinny's play, but it's actually all going to the baby. <laughs> Very oh. good. Yeah, smart man. And uh, Peter, what did you say you're going to do? You told uh, I us before. I said my wife's birthday. 40th is coming up. So How much of that 2500 nice. will you spend on your wife's birthday? I don't know. Maybe uh, 100 maybe, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Take the maybe rest five, of the strip club and maybe, blow it. Maybe 500 <laughs> 500 All right. That's very generous. And now, Vinny Favali, thank you for thank hosting. Thank you, guys. You almost ruined the entire... I apologize. All right. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you very Executive much, all. Vice President at Late Night for David Letterman, East Coast. Executive in charge. Oh, and Robin... Super fan. Super fan. Thank you, Robin. Another super, edition of... Super fan. <laughs> super fan. Super fan. <laughs> feud that's broken out here on the show. Really? This is a feud between... John Lieberman was hey, John, because he's Jewish. Who's the uh, new... <laughs> John looking at Sour Jewish, Shoes. Jewish, Something to look Jewish, at, isn't it? Jewish, How you doing, Sour? Jewish, <laughs> Jewish, I spent a day with Sour. Yeah, was great. You were at his house, and you said his, his room is like a five-year-old. Yeah, his room resembles my five-year-old's room. There's Hot Wheels cars, there's G.I. Joe figures, there's animated shows on the TV. I mean, what cartoons? <laughs> you were watching cartoons. Uh, is he, he can't be a brony. No, don't tell Are you a brony? That was actually the cartoon I'm helping create, Ming the Minibus. I'm what? part of a cartoon called Ming the Minibus. Oh, yeah? I, I, I don't care. Yeah. Right. So he was, anyway, he was so, John, what is his story? So we have, have a breaking, <laughs> st- <laughs> we have a few breaking yeah. stories, uh, Howard. Yeah. The first is this new feud that you just referred to. The relationship between Jason Kaplan and J.D. Harmeyer mm. has deteriorated. It started when Jason voiced his displeasure that the block party guys tweeted out photos of the weekend's events instead of sending them to Howard's, to Jason for HowardStern.com. Yeah, well, they, they, they don't give a fuck. They, this show doesn't do anything for them. Jason's right. Jason's the only motherfucker around who cares. Ronnie, send it to HowardStern.com. If you got a picture, we're the fuckers who are putting you on the map. You too, Shuley. I didn't. I what? Didn't, I didn't send any out, Howard. Who did it, Ronnie? Uh, no, we. Uh, and what's wrong with Jason pointing that out? Not, I commend you. Well, he is the fucking best employee not, around no, here. No, no, no. It's not just that. What? What's wrong with him being a good employee? No, no. It's not that. <laughs> He's making it seem like I don't give a fuck about the show when I you don't. I do. Yes, I do. Why did you? Howard, Howard, can I can I help out a little bit? Go ahead. Uh, Jason's big complaint is that the the block party goes away and they tweet. They send out all these pictures, but specifically. Well, I guess Twitter employs them, and they're trying to build up Twitter. But specifically uh, with JD, he's like, hey, you get to go out on the block party because of the show. Yet you come back and you won't tell us who you fuck. Well, I get that, but I'm just saying, with the pictures, I don't get that. The pictures, and you know, this has been a long time, like, I've tried setting up Dropbox accounts with no, these guys. On, on, I've, I've, I've talked told, to them. Hold on, hold on. Why are you going to interrupt me? I'm sitting there talking here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. No, 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 no. No, no, go ahead, talk. No, no, no. In all fairness, it's funnier when J.D. talks. <laughs> J.D., J- uh, oh, wait, sorry, what? 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 What'd you say? J.D. is very articulate when he's fighting with Jason. I have 45-second <laughs> sound bites from yesterday where J.D. doesn't say, uh, once. Well, he is very upset all, about this. Let me just say something, not, not just for J.D.'s ears, for everyone around here. Being a good employee is a good thing. Yeah. Jason's sitting at home saying, hey, why don't you send that to HowardStern.com instead of Twitter? Like, who do you work for? Tell me, to Howard Stern no, or Twitter? I work for you, but there's two right. things. So does Twitter ever pay you? Thing, no, but there's two. You th- fuck, all you care about is your Twitter followers and getting no, no, verified. No, no, no. Cancel your <laughs> Very fucking Twitter. Important. Every want, guy here should cancel his Twitter if account. If you want me to cancel, I'll cancel. Good. I, I cancel. don't care. Okay, fine. <laughs> 
You cancel your suit, dickbag. <laughs> He's not the problem. You are. Yeah, you're the problem. All right, tell me why you're, you, what you're saying. I don't even know what you're saying. What's your defense? There's two things. Okay. First, instead of uh, being... <laughs> <laughs> what? He didn't even get one thing out. What did you just say? Uh, it's hard to be around Jason at work. Why? Uh, because well, because when he, else are you around him? He is, He's tried asking you nicely to. No, no, no. He didn't ask me at all. That's the problem. That's he not went, true. Oh, that's that's so not true. He went over to John Lieberman and did the story in front of me, voicing this displeasure. He's rather never than, said to you. Rather than coming up to me uh, beforehand and say, "Hey, would you mind did you, you go, know, did, send well, me did, the picture?" Does JD have a point? Oh, hold no. On. Hold on. Second okay. of all, second okay. of all, in the past, <laughs> I, before this weekend, in the past. I'm not like the block party photographer guy or right, whatever. But okay. But I've told. He, did he ask you in advance to send it to Howard Stern? No. Okay. Not, no. 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 I will address. I will address both points that JD brought pictures, up. Not right, my pictures. Not my pictures. I will address both points. First of all, I did the story with John Lieberman as I was sitting at my desk. I didn't go find John anywhere. JD was sitting next to me. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't go. I was sitting at my desk doing the story. Coincidence. Before JD left for the trip, I stopped by his office and I said. Hey, man, if you take any good pictures, send them my way. And I say that to him every single time they go on the trip. And, and by the way, I didn't no, single. Is he lying? For, no, no, I don't remember him coming up to me. And I absolutely saying, did. No, okay. And I have in the past well, before. Saying, and I, would, I did not single J.D. And out. Just you. And, and it's not just on. you. Yeah, I didn't single J.D. out in that art. If you listen to that, I just said in general, like I was sitting at home this weekend, and I see Ronnie's got great tweets going out and all these awesome pictures. Yeah, forget and tweets. I forget had tweets. <laughs> HowardStern.com. <laughs> but I don't know why. So I was just venting. I was venting to the news. I admit it. I was venting my, my frustration. If you got good content, put it on Howard Stern. And then, but, but the bigger story here is that JD's not angry about this because what happened was he just started unloading on John Lieberman about things I didn't even know he was angry at me about. What well, is so he, now you're what, deflecting. What? Hold on. Let me get the, the one thing at a time. Don't worry. We'll get the geek time soon enough. And by the way, enough. it's okay if he is a good employee. Yeah. He happens to be. Yeah, but it's He's not, one of my go-to guys. I No, no. I know Howard. And I know I, I respect him as a good employee. I love him. But when he's trying to make other people who... Bust their ass for this job, make it seem like they're yeah, not good employees. But all he did was say to you a couple of times already. He send did, it to but Howard he Stern. did not. He did not. I have. And, and by the way, and, again, and I'm not even saying he can't use my pictures. I, I would give them up to Howard Stern right, so or now whatever. Do you get no the problem. Point? Does everyone get the point? Yes, but who do you work for? <laughs> I work for you. Who? You know that. Who's you? You, you Howard Stern. Stern. Uh, okay, Howard that's Stern. all I want to know. Do you that, work for that's Twitter? All, I, I, would, I wouldn't even go out on a block. I don't even need the block. I don't care about the block party. I love you, Shirley. But I, I, this is fine. I, I will just no, do it's this. It's fine if you go out, but if Jason gives you the word, hey, you send the pictures to HowardStern.com, no, I, do it. I, I do. I have. Yeah. And, uh, and the, in the past, I've told the, the other people that do the regular photography for the right, block party. All right, all right. This has send very to little Stern, to send them to Jason. This oh. has very little to do with the block party, Thank though. You. This has to do with a personal feud. Yes. What is the feud? And it's all coming from Jason. <laughs> Why, J.D.? Why do you Listen, not like Jason? I, I heard uh, it was a bad time for me to hear because I had not slept much. Mm. But I heard Why haven't that, you slept much? Uh, because I flew from Los Angeles into here right. uh, and came straight well, to work. I, I don't need this block party. Yeah, way to come I, to work exhausted. Uh, and the, and the block Jason, party. Jason, I did He's my exhausted. fucking work still, it's asshole. Exhausted. Yeah, but you said, it, my work. you said you're half awake doing it. Nah. <laughs> you're not giving 100%. <laughs> you say, all right. Wow. Where are you going? I can't, I can't oh my goodness. What are you with this fucking guy? He's basically saying to you, <laughs> no, you're probably too tired for work. No, no you just said I it. was fine. I was fine for work. I just, uh, if I was. You said, he, he's not making that up. You said you were too tired. I, no, but he got me at a time where. When you're where tired, I, you can't be working on full force. Yeah, no, man. I, but I was fine with work. It's voicing certain opinions about other things I should keep my mouth on. Uh, Look, <laughs> I like I like that Jason lets me know that you're too tired for work. <laughs> I do. I like it. And you can call him a kiss ass. You can call him a suck balls. But he's the kind of guy. I, he's my guy to go to guy. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> because so I don't you know want to be in a feud with him at all. Then, then why did you? All right. Then don't be in a feud with me. You. Say you're sorry and wind it. Uh, uh, <laughs> are you better when you get full sleep? I, I yes don't know. No. You don't I, know if you're I better. Yes, I, 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 I. You a better be, worker? No, I, I try and be as good as work as I can. Whenever my job sleep or comes not sleep. first. This radio show it comes is, first. It is. I know. Even when America's Got Talent, only work on it when I'm I off know. from here. How I know you don't. I. I, know. I was asleep at nine o'clock Sunday night. What time did your plane land? What? That's a good question. What time did your plane land on? Three o'clock. Yeah. Three oh, then why are you so tired? Well, part of the I problem. I got here straight from well, fucking airport. Jet lag. Oh. Uh, well, no, Howard. I but, got here straight from the airport, douchebag. J, JD did come straight from the airport. Part of the problem was 
The reason why JD was more <laughs> tired was because JD prefers to fly on Virgin Airlines. Uh, no, I flew gets, Jet Blue this get, time. <laughs> will you let me what finish, the, please? What is going on around here? JD per, <laughs> JD has asked the block party organizers to please book him on Virgin Airlines because it's better what? for his sinuses. So what? he didn't get a Virgin <laughs> Airlines <laughs> flight this <laughs> time. So he did not have a good flight. What do you mean? Which is why he was more flight. tired. See, this Virgin. is Jason over. <laughs> Laughing that because so to get some more funny. attention. Oh yeah, I'm the only one who finds this funny. Virgin finds. <laughs> no, no, you're over laughing because this is your mo. Virgin Airlines is better for your sinuses. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, it tends to be. Yeah, but I flew JetBlue. <laughs> I flew JetBlue this time and it was fine. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> Come here. What? You bumming out? Yes, because I'm dealing with them. Look at me. What I do? What'd who I loves do? you? I, yeah, you loves do. you? Right. And I love you, too. I love the show. All right. So he's but I don't so like Jason, dealing with Jason. Jason's making you a better employee? No, he's not. What are you going to no, do with the not. pictures now? No, I, I won't treat any, any more don't pictures. Don't be sleepy. Be on, be, be, don't be sleepy. And take your pictures and send them to him, and he'll distribute them. That's fine. All right. <laughs> there it is. Good to go. What are you fighting about? I, the I guy's just, making sense. You're no, just upset I, I, that he's right. Uh, Whatever. I, I don't like him. Uh, never mind. You I laugh will at everything. Huh? He's laughing too. You two, both you two idiots laugh. I'm not laughing. <laughs> I'm having a good You're time. You're mad at him because he's having a good time laughing? I, you laugh at everything. I'm not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. Yeah. Apologize. Thank you. <laughs> you were wrong this time. I apologize to HowardStern.com for providing the content first there. And considering I run HowardStern.com, I accept your apology on behalf of the entire staff, which is me. Thank All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, J J.D., you think that Jason is much too condescending. You're not the only person who said that, but you've said that. Yeah, I do. That could be a little condescending. That's true. <laughs> little. But uh, yesterday, I don't know. I was I was doing a news story with John, and and you blow up, and then I'm I go home. I'm listening to the the news stories. He's not even yelling at me about the block. By the time I get home, I'm, it's past me being a kiss ass. Now he's screaming about Geek Time and how I book guests on Geek Time. I'm like, he clearly has a lot of issues with me that came out with this well, does seem blow up. But uh, does seem you do. Uh, it, Jason away from work is a lot different from here at work. <laughs> so I don't think that's true. Well, yeah, no. sorry, it is. <laughs> All That's right. Alrighty then. All right, John, you've uncovered another feud. Feud. Yeah. Howard went, 100 News, right on target right. again. It's disturbing. But listen, we all come out better people for this, JD. JD? JD, we're going to be a better yeah. employee. You're a better person. <laughs> Thank you. Jason, carry on. Nothing wrong with what you said that I can see. Thank you, sir. All right. Get back to work. There he goes. Jason, employee of the month. is as bad as he knows. He's the best. Cause his Pedo is as bad as can. He knows he's the best.